Hi guys! Welcome to a new video. <laughs> we are at Lowe's and I'm really overwhelmed. I am about to drop a huge stack of cash, like probably a thousand dollars. Um, at Lowe's because I'm going to Canada with my family tomorrow for 10 days. Um, we have a cottage in Quebec. I used to go all the time as a kid for Canadian Thanksgiving. I actually have not been back to my cottage in like four years, so I'm really excited to be going. But we're going for 10 days, so I told my mom, okay, great, I will go the whole 10 days as long as I can bring my van so I can work. So we're taking the van on a little road trip. But with that being said, I need to buy supplies worth of 10 days work and there's not anything else to do up there besides work on the van. Like when I say my cottage is in a remote area, it's remote. Uh, the closest hardware store is going to be 45 minutes away. So I need to buy all the things, all the things. Plus things are also more expensive in Canada and I'm not trying to spend extra money. So when I say all the things y'all, I'm talking about wood. I'm talking about screws, I'm talking about liquid nails, I'm talking about brackets, I'm talking about all the things. I need all the things. So I wrote out a list of things realistically I can get in 10 days done and then a wishful thinking project. Um, and I wrote down all the things that I'm going to need for them. Okay guys, here's everything. Now I have to get wood. <laughs> Okay, so far we got 15 one by threes for framing, three one by twos for an idea that I have, um, six one by threes for slats, four two by twos for building this platform thing. Um, I hope that's enough. The last thing in terms of like, oh shoot. I still need two by threes, four two by threes, four two by sixes, and then some plywood. Then we're done. Okay guys, now that we got it all in here, let me go over the receipt. Look how long this thing is. <laughs> um, okay, so as I said before I went in the store, I'm a pro member and I have a credit card. So with the credit card, why I say it's better than Home Depot is because you get 5% off every purchase. Home Depot doesn't have any benefits like that. They have like 0% interest for a certain amount of months. Lowe's also has that, but the 5% back it's not a lot, but any little bit counts. So with the 5% back, I saved $27.99, so $28 with 5% back. So the total was $563.90. So then it was $531.98 or something like that with tax and the discount, okay? But I told the guy when I was checking out, he was just so interested in how cool the bus or the van was that I had a 20% off that I wanted to apply. When you sign up, you get 20% off an entire purchase up to $100 of like discount. So up to $500, you can get, if you have your purchase is $500, you can get 20% 20 off. But if it's like 560, like mine was, the cutoff just stops at $100 back. So then he forgot to do that. Thank God I checked my receipt because I was like, let me see how much the discounts are. It should be like $100 because I spent five, over $500. Um, so I checked that. He didn't apply that. So I had to go to customer service and she was like, oh, no problem. I was just telling them G, one of the guys that works there that was super nice that signed me up and so interested, says hi to me every single time I'm in there. Um, I was like, yeah, G told me to save it. And he was like, if you're gonna do a bigger purchase, save it. So I did. So I went to the customer service and I ended up getting $109.41 back. And that's including like the taxes and stuff. All right, guys, we are all packed up, ready to go to Canada. The van is full of our stuff and supplies for 
building. We are just doing one more thing. We are stopped at a carrier warehouse because my AC unit was supposed to be delivered on Saturday, but I'm not gonna be here. So I'm picking it up now so I can take it with me and install it while I'm in Canada. And I'm so annoyed because they're taking so long. I called three hours ago to let them know what time I was gonna be here and it's still, they still don't have it. So I just talked to a guy, hopefully he can go get it for us and we can be on our way, right mommy? Absolutely, gotta go. <laughs> We made it successfully. Um, nice and smooth sailing. He just had some questions because I still have the dealer plate on the van because I haven't received the title in the mail yet to get Michigan plates. So he was just asking questions about that. But other than that, nice and, nice and easy. So first stop is Timmy Ho's, Tim Hortons. Um, we always used to stop there when I was little going to the cottage and um, gotta keep the tradition alive to get some donuts. So that's the first stop. And then we've got a long, no. long, long, long drive. drive. <laughs> like eight hours. <laughs> Here we go. Good morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Oh, wow. <laughs> I look crazy. Good morning. My mom and I slept in the van. She's in Walmart. She had her first sleep in the van. Her first Walmart sleep. Um, the reason why we slept in the van is because it was we got to Pembroke, Ontario at 1 a.m. Pembroke is the town that you have to come to to go grocery shopping. It's like 40 minutes from my cottage. And my mom had an 8.30 call this morning, so she was going to be coming back to Pembroke this morning, leaving the cottage at like 7.30 to get, well, probably like 7 to get here and have her work call at 8.30. Because there's not a lot, there's like no service at my cottage. Although I did bring my Starlink, so we can work from there this week. Um, but to get to the cottage at 2 a.m. just to drive back this way another 40 minutes again five hours later just literally didn't make sense so we brought the bed <laughs> the mattress and we slept in a packed van full of stuff um last night and it's a little freaking chilly <laughs> i have insulation up y'all but not fully like that's where the AC is going to go and all the channels and stuff are not insulated yet. I don't have window covers. So it's freaking cold and it was like 40 degrees last night. So I'm a little chilly this morning. Um, but yeah, we had a good night. Now it is like 7.30 or 7.45. My mom just ran into Walmart to use the bathroom and then we are going to go to Tim Hortons and set up shop there, I think, so she can do some work and we we'll use our bathroom and wash our face, brush our teeth, etc. We made it. guys we made it to our little slice of heaven on earth <gasps> Yay! look how pretty it's so beautiful here what a dream so now we're the first ones of our family here so my mom and I have the task of cleaning up the cottage because no one's been here since early August um, and then we've got all the groceries for everyone we did the grocery shopping since we're the first ones here so we've got a lot of work to do and then I'm gonna unload all my work stuff 
somewhere. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna work, but my grandpa has a work shed, a barn. So probably park the van somewhere over there, unload the wood in the barn so it can stay in the barn all week and I can grab it as I need. But yeah, we're here. So this week I'm gonna be vlogging, taking y'all along on my little slice of heaven on earth and sharing it with you guys because I truly, truly love it here. Um, and yeah, so I'll catch y'all a little bit later. We're not gonna do any building in this video. You'll have to check out my build series to see some building, but I'm gonna share with you guys what we like to do and our family Thanksgiving for Canadian Thanksgiving um, up here and share that with y'all. So I'm excited to be vlogging. <laughs> It still always looks so different to me since it got redone. <laughs> yeah. All right guys, happy Sunday. It has been three days since I've been here, two days, and I'm finally taking a break from the van. <laughs> we are about to go hang out at this place called The Fort. It's Fort Williams. It's um, a really old, place I guess I don't know it's like been there for a really long time but we used to go there all the time when I was a kid and my best memories were getting patin and ice cream but today is the last day that they're open for the season so um, we're gonna go hang out I think there's some live music so we're just gonna go chill for a little bit and that's the plan for the evening so let's go You ain't been here since they put the deck on, have you? I don't know. No, no, you haven't. You haven't? You haven't? She hasn't. Oh, she has, no. yes. Yeah, I good. don't think so. Yeah, this really it was it's four years ago. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you haven't been in four years? No. Nope. Oh, shit, they're out there lined to come here in the afternoon. First time I come here, there are about 30 women out there all line dancing. <laughs> Which is kind of nice. I might have to back right next to that wood pile. Beautiful water. There's this rock over here, guys. Let me zoom into it. It's so big. I used to crawl on it when I was a kid and sit up there. That was like our favorite thing to do at the fort. Especially with the stars. Yeah, and get ice cream. We used to take the boat here, but we drove here today. But I remember all my memories. We would pull the boat up and dock it right on the beach and hang out at the fort. That's my memories. But anyways, I'm gonna put the drone up here. Yes, it's a Hudson Bay stopping point for William. So it's very important on the Hudson Bay, they would ride up here and then traders would stay the night. There was a hotel, a restaurant, a trading spot. So it's very historic Fort William. There you go. Um, I'm about to put the drone up. The colors on this side are not that great. But I think it will still be pretty, and the lighting's good. That I think the drone will get some good shots. So I could be we're gonna do that now. Big park, but it was good for trading, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> Look it up, Fort Williams. Yeah. <laughs> do your own research. <laughs> All right, guys, we're headed out. There was no food tonight because it's the last night, and I'm starving. So we need to go home, get some dinner. We were talking about what do we want to eat. And my aunt said a fried egg sandwich, and I was like, oh my god, I have not had one of those since I was a kid, and it sounds so good. So that's what we're gonna eat. Oh, I thought my grandpa was coming. <laughs> but look how pretty this view is, y'all. So beautiful. There's my mommy. All right, y'all. I'm finally gonna go do something fun. Take a break from the van build. My mom and I are about to take the four-wheelers out, do some riding through the bush. 
um, and have a great time. This is probably like my fondest memory of being up here at the cottage. We used to take the four wheelers and go ride through the woods. My grandpa has a hundred acres of a bush lot with trails. Um, my cousins have property up here. It's just a good time. So my mom and I are gonna go do some exploring and uh, I'll bring you guys with us. Ontario. Finished my workout, showered, ready for dinner. I've got literally 25 minutes till I need to be driving to the restaurant. Like I said, it's a surprise. So lots of people are getting there at 5.30, which is in five minutes. Um, but my grandparents are getting there at six, so I need to be there a few minutes before. So we're about to go in here. We're gonna do the fastest shopping. All right, guys, whoo, I'm in a rush. Okay, it's 10 minutes before six. It says we'll be there in six minutes. So I'm gonna be there right before six. Um, I pretty much got everything, but some brackets that I was thinking about. And then drawer slides were hella expensive here. They were not kidding when things are expensive here, guys. I just spent a hundred dollars. Shit is expensive here in Canada, and I don't appreciate it. I'm so glad I did my like mass shopping trip in the States before I came up here. Um, but anyways, we're going to dinner. I'll film some of the dinner. My whole family and friends are gonna be up here. My family that lives up here or close family friends that live up here I think are coming too, so it will be a good time. So I'm gonna hurry and get to dinner before my grandparents and then uh, see y'all there. Oh, one more thing. <coughs> I also bought these ruffles. I opened them upside down. But the all dressed ruffles in Canada, 10 out of 10. If you ever come to Canada, you gotta, you gotta get these. You got them. They're so good. I don't know if they sell them in the States yet. I don't know. I've never seen them in the States, but I get these in Canada. So good. Pictures, I'm guessing. I'm vlogging. Hey, you made it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jackie's farm. He's come horseback riding, so he's got some horses. He said we can, we can come see. So we're gonna hang out with the horses. <laughs> Did I get your fingers? Um, a little bit. A little. You want some too? this one just helping himself you're gonna get your head stuck dude all right guys so today we are celebrating our Canadian Thanksgiving Thanksgiving's really on Monday, but it's Friday and most of us are headed back tomorrow. So today's our dinner. When I was little, my brother and I's job was to always decorate the cottage with leaves and pine cones and stuff. And so and now it's my turn. I'm continuing the tradition with my little cousin. And, and we are up at what we call our daisy patch. I would assume daisies used to be up here for calling this it, but it's a property up above our cottage that we have. So we've got my grandpa's five month old German short hair pointer. We're taking him on a walk. We're in search for some pine cones, but we're having trouble. So we found some nice like pine leaves and stuff. We've got fake leaves at the cottage. We're not gonna grab real leaves, even though there's very pretty leaves on the ground, um, but it just rained all morning. So everything's a little wet. So we're just trying to find some dry stuff that we can use. So we walked all the way to the end of the property, but look how beautiful this view is. Oh, there you go. The mountains are so beautiful. Grab like a handful of the brown needles. Here, I'll give you the bag to put them in. I'm trying to get the ones that aren't wet. It's okay if they're a little wet. Probably Perfect. And maybe one more little handful. little handful. Great. What did I miss? Found some. Good. Tree bark. Tree bark. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay.
have a recipe for you. Yeah.